Hello everybody, once again, this is Akawa Kazoo and this is the second part series to my PvP videos that will be showcasing all classes and how you can actually deal with them and some insights. So today will be Acrobat. So in this video, I'm featuring one of my guildmates. Um, his IGN is from afar and he's a pretty decent Acrobat. You'll see more of him in the video, so let's get to it. All these videos will actually share with you some of my insights with the classes that you're fighting for, not necessarily applying to only sword masters, but you know you definitely gain some knowledge from this video regarding acrobat. So let's get to it. The first skill that you need to watch out for against an acrobat, which you need to bait him to use that skill before you can approach him, is circle shot as well as counter circle shot. It's the one where the acrobat flies up into the air and fires an arrow downwards. That skill can flinch you, so usually if they see someone approaching them, they'll use that. And the amazing thing about that skill is that you know. They have no worries about getting close to you because you know for land based creatures like Swords Master, all our skills are you know you know 2D horizontal, just just 2D. So when they do circle shot, they firstly evade your attack and secondly they flinch you. And then after that they can start comboing comboing you to your death, which is what happened to me in the first round. So circle shot and counter circle shot. That's the one very important thing. And my guildmate is, is saying they're not serious, which is actually quite true to a certain extent because I wanted to make this video and just to share I didn't know he was actually that good so yep he proved me right that he's a decent pvp -er and a decent acrobat so you can see more of him in the video so let's get to the second thing about acrobat that you need to watch out for well acrobat means that you know it's a, a class which is very graceful I mean yep that's a lot I mean if you relate acrobat to gymnastics that's one way to you know read it them too. So there'll be there'll be a lot of kicks and there'll be a lot of them jumping around. So like I mentioned just now, because sword masters are land based creatures, it is actually very difficult to fight acrobat because you no, know, they're always bouncing around and flying around. So let's share with you some of the dodging skills that acrobat actually have. So the first one will of course be their normal tumble. So they have tumble, and the one that you just saw was chain trampoline. It's the one which they use after a tumble. And most PvP acrobats have the plate to reduce the cooldown of it, I think. Yeah. So um, from afar actually has that plate as well. So this is one of the two skills that you, you you need to know. Chain trampoline, which is after the acrobat actually jumps. And the amazing thing about that is that they, they can actually chain in and, and attack into it when they do the tumble, which is if I'm not wrong, spirit shot. It's the one where yep, the one that just hit me and that skill can flinch you. And one more thing about that skill is that it's ha it has a very far range, so do watch out and avoid that. Further range than Moonlight Slitter, definitely. So that's one thing to note for Sword Masters. And the other combo that the Acrobat can do is Willow Kick. Willow Kick gives, I think, about 100% stun rate. I'm not sure, but when I was doing using my Acrobat in PvE, using Willow Kick usually stuns uh, most mobs aside from Nas bosses. So once they stun you, they can actually they actually have a follow up skill. Which can kick you up into the air, you know, and yep, that's the one that you just saw. And after after using that, they can actually land with a, with an eagle dive. So here's the next game I'm going to talk about, which is eagle dive. It's the one where the acrobat lands from the air. So you realize the potential of the acrobat because you see they have so many skills that bring them up into the air, and then they have skills that brings that slams them down. So the next tip about tackling acrobat is you can never be looking at the floor. Because if you, as you can see, my SN is just to get floor, and I just got hit by the below kick combo again. And yep, it's definitely not easy. And once you start to get combo, they have air pounds to even further combo you down. So you need to know these skills. So the first thing towards the end, actually the last round, I'm actually trying to adapt. So what I'm trying to do here is actually to bait all the skills up. So before you approach an acrobat, make sure you you know bait skills. The other skill that I forgot, sorry, is binding shot. It's the one that the, um, the acrobat summons a lot of. Uh, you know the string a bunch of strings and if you get caught you can pull you back and then after that they can do relocate and a lot of follow-up combos to that so you need to bait all those skills before you can approach you see now I just use counter ring shot when I thought I have a chance to infin infinite combo the acrobat so this is def it is definitely very tricky to fight acrobats but you just need to know what are the skills they have and I think circle shot and counter circle shot has actually quite a long cooldown so once they are lack they are lack of you know evasion skills and tumbles, tumble skills, then you, you might want to approach the acrobat. And one more thing I just want to add is that you must definitely um, use all the opportunities you have to combo them because acrobats are actually pretty squishy 
because after this I actually fought another acrobat for my guild and if you actually land all your chain of skills uh, well, you'll probably die in about one and a half rotations. So it's balanced in that aspect, but once you manage to combo a acrobat, you cannot fail. Because once you do, their cool the cooldowns of their skills are extremely fast. And definitely in ladder with spirit boost, they they almost have no cooldowns for their you know their chain trampoline. They they have very short cooldowns. So you must definitely make use of all the opportunities that you have. So that's it from me, I hope that this video has helped you and the next one that I'll, I'll be featuring will be a Swordmaster so hope you guys like the video, subscribe if you haven't and I'll see you guys next time.